Well, good morning, everyone. Just uh, want to share a few thoughts with you for today's devotion um, from Matthew's Gospel uh, in chapter 9 and uh, verse 35 to 38. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them, because they were weary and scattered like sheep, having no shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Um, just want to... Um, talk or just a, just a couple of points out of that that brief um portion of scripture there um just great to to always look at jesus and how he acted and interacted uh with with people and one of the, the insights that we get um into uh jesus's ministry here is that he was active that he was a laborer he he worked hard and diligently preaching teaching healing uh, but one of the things that stands out to me is that when he saw the multitude he had compassion on them and uh, you know we 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 can look around uh, you know our, our towns and cities today we can look around and see hundreds and thousands of people who are who are without Christ and if Christ is in us as Christians, then my, my challenge uh, to us is, are we moved with compassion? Uh, one of the, uh, I suppose that's one of the ways we can exa examine ourselves is if we are uh, Christians, if we are, you know, just saved by grace and we are in Jesus Christ, then it must be that as we just take stock and look around and see people wandering aimlessly without him, are we, uh, what is our reaction? Do we have compassion? Compassion is to be moved lovingly uh, for those uh, who, who you see. And uh, Jesus was, was moved. He was compassionate. His heart uh, ached because there were people who were lost. And it says there that they were, um, he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary. Or that word weary can be, be the same word as harassed and scattered, like sheep having no shepherd. And uh, I believe there are many people uh, today who are weary, harassed, uh, feeling in that place of, of helplessness or hopelessness. And in that place, people are in need of a shepherd. And the shepherd is the great shepherd. He is the one who can identify that they are shepherdless because they didn't have him and they didn't know him. We do. We have the knowledge of who Jesus is and he is our shepherd. The one who guides us, guards us, leads us and protects us. And then because of this compassion that he had and, and being moved by compassion... He, uh, he gave instruction to his disciples. He says there, he said to his disciples in verse 37, The harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. And um, I just want to, you know, to encourage us and to challenge us today. You know, that there is helplessness and hopelessness in the world people feel that if as christians we have the greatest hope there is hope of of life in christ hope of life eternal and uh, what assurance peace and hope and joy that gives to us and jesus instructs and tells the disciples uh that the harvest is plentiful and, and that's the same today the harvest is plentiful people in that place of need need to know who Jesus is and as uh, Christians we have a, 
a responsibility to share with those that we come into contact with the hope in our hearts and the wonder of Jesus Christ. And we might think, well, I don't know how to do that. I don't know what to say. Pray and trust the Lord will give you those words just to share who Jesus is and all that he has done for you. And the, the final thing, as well as us being laborers and being active, something that we need to be and we need to be about, is to pray. You know, we need to pray that the Lord would send out people into the harvest. And truly he has. There are people out there. Um, and, and it's always been the case. The laborers are few. Pray to the Lord that those laborers would be raised up and sent out. And it says there, to his harvest. He is preparing. He is readying. In the midst of what would seem uh, chaos or... Uh, and, you know the anxiety of people the uncertainty of what is going on around us God is preparing the harvest and as laborers we ought to be out there proclaiming the gospel preaching the gospel teaching people and telling people about Jesus but praying for others also that they would rise up and in these days that are drawing ever closer to the Lord's return we would be actively praying we would be actively laboring for the kingdom and I pray that today, just in whatever opportunity may arise, pr pray that, the, that God would give you an opportunity to share Jesus today. Pray that he would give you the boldness to, to proclaim who Jesus is. And, uh, and I pray that in that you would, see, uh, you would see souls saved, the harvest come to fruition. And uh, we, we, well, my heart would be that that you would experience that for yourselves and we would see people, more and more people, come to know Jesus. Pray you'd have a great day today. Uh, keep tuning in. Uh, keep logging on to the channel. Uh, pray that God would bless you in, in all that's before you today. God bless.